the holder of vampirism. In any city, in any country, find a mental institution or a halfway house you can get yourself into. Upon meeting the clerk at the front desk, ask to see someone who calls himself the holder of vampirism. The clerk's eyes will turn into a glowing maroon red, and everybody present in the room will violently scream until you are transported to a medieval castle at midnight. Do not touch anything, as this is the holder's property. Make your way to the master bedroom on the top floor through your seemingly endless path. While climbing through the stairs and passing through hallways, you will encounter gargoyles with ten eyes, one sharp tooth and other bizarre features. They lurk in the shadows and on the ceilings, so be wary to not touch any one of them, lest you alert all the gargoyles to jump on you, covering every inch of your body while piercing you with their poisonous fangs until you are nothing more than a husk festered with wounds. These wounds will cripple your soul even after death. If you made it through those horrific creatures without being attacked, you may start to hear organs playing a tune that'll haunt you until the end of your mortal days. If, however, the organs stop playing and you start to hear a low hum jump out of one of the windows into the void, home to raw, fleshy, macabre creatures whose size is immeasurable. To eternally face these nausea-inducing monstrosities is a more preferable fate than what would have happened next. As you succumb to fatigue, you'll eventually make it to the top floor of the castle. Floating near the ceiling are a horde of silent, disembodied eyes watching your every step. Unnerving as they may seem, go through the door with a statue of Medusa implanted on the top. This is where you will encounter the holder. This room will lurk with opaque shadows that squirm in a way no animal can do. Standing seven feet tall in the center of the room will be a fortyish man wearing a cape with a texture of what can only be described as darkness. Only pay attention to him as you walk closer to him until you are five feet away from him. Even unfocusing for a mere second will result in paralyzing you with his poisoned dagger and feeding himself with your blood. He will only respond to one question and one question only. What will they feed on? To respond to your question, he will explain to you in precise detail every blood ritual, every sacrifice, and every cannibalistic act that occurred throughout history. Many go mad hearing the disturbing tale. Others scream and run out the room. If, however, you have managed to maintain your sanity, he will end his story and dissipate into blood. You will then be transported back to your home in your bathtub full of blood of who knows what. In your hand, you will be clutching a ruby pendant. This pendant is object of 2538. Wearing it will allow you to temporarily stop aging, but will it be enough to shield you from their power?